Death row prisoners are prisoners who got sentenced a death sentence. Death row prisoners will mostly stay in their cells and await their execution. For death row prisoners to show up in your intake tab, you need to have death row researched. To take in death row prisoners, you need an area of your prison designated to death row prisoners. You can do this in the deployment tab by selecting the death row only zone and zoning a cell block as death row only. Your death row prisoners will show up and occupy this cell block. Your death row prisoners will only stay in regular cells. They can't stay in dormitories or in holding cells. This is the most basic death row cell. It has no size requirement if you have the small cells research. But if you don't have the small cells research, it has a 2 by 3 size requirement. It also needs a toilet and it needs a bed. The way I built my death row cells is with a little bit of extra stuff. This way, the needs of the prisoner gets fulfilled and they will be less inclined to cause trouble. Once a death row prisoner shows up, they will mostly stay in their own cells. There are two reasons why they might leave their prison cell. One is visitation. Second one is death row appeal. A death row appeal is a hearing where the prisoner tries to get their death sentence overturned. It is a program in the program tab and you can plan it in and they will start showing up to this hearing. There are three different outcomes to the death row appeal. One, your prisoner is found innocent. Your prisoner did never commit those crimes. They are released and they won't be staying in your prison anymore. They will walk the streets again. Two, the death sentence will be overturned. Your prisoner's life will be spared they still committed those crimes though, so they now have to live out their entire lives as a maximum security prison in your prison. The third option is that the appeal gets rejected and their death sentence will stay as stands. The death row appeals will find place in parole rooms. I also mark these parole rooms as death row only. They can also find place in regular parole rooms, where the other prisoners come for parole hearings. I mark these as death row only because I want to separate my death row prisoners from my regular prisoners. The chances of the prisoner overturning their death sentence is shown as the clemency rating. As you might see, this prisoner has 0% chance of overturning their death row sentence. Once the clemency rating drops down below a certain value, you can execute the prisoner without legal repercussions. If you only research death row, you can execute the prisoner once it's below 5% without legal repercussions. Once you executed execution liability, you can execute the prisoner below 10% without legal repercussions. You can also execute the prisoner if the likelihood of clemency is above those values. If you execute the prisoner when the likelihood of clemency is above those values and she is laid to be found innocent, what will happen is you will get a huge fine and all your other death row prisoners will be taken away to a different prison. To execute death row prisoners, you need an execution chamber. An execution chamber only needs an electric chair. You can also put in regular chairs for the witnesses that are going to witness the execution. To execute the prisoner, you click on the prisoner and you press the schedule execution button. I like to execute the prisoners at night because 
the prison-wide lockdown will be a lot easier because all the other prisoners are already in their cells sleeping. After we lock down the entire prison, we need to test the electric chair. We do this by first turning on the electric chair and after that clicking the test facility button. After this, we need to assemble the execution detail. The warden and the security chief will make their way over to the prisoner's cell. Also, a spiritual leader will accompany the prisoner when she is getting executed. While the warden and the security chief are making their way over to the prisoner's cell, we can escort witnesses to the facility. The witnesses are going to witness the execution. These are members of the prisoner's family and members of the victim's family. Once the witnesses are in the execution room, we can start escorting the prisoner. The prisoner has arrived in the execution room and she will take place in the electric chair. Once everything is in place, we can start with the execution. And the prisoner is executed. We now dismiss the staff and the witnesses and we get a final report. We executed the prisoner Riley Stacy, and we got a compensation of 10,000 for our part in the process of the execution. That is how you take in and execute death row prisoners. If you like this video, please leave a like. Also, leave a comment because the comments really help with the algorithm. Also, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.